Hey guys, RageCage20 here coming at you with another Cataclysm Dungeon. Today we're doing the Throne of the Tides, which is here in Vashir, all the way at the Abyssal Depths and the Abyssal Breach. You have to come to this big old circly thingy down here and just fly right into it. Fly so free, which creeps me personally the fuck out because I don't like deep water, but it's okay. Now we can sucked in. You will suffer fatigue, but it will go away pretty much immediately. Don't have water walking of any kind on, or you're probably dead. Uh, and bam, here you go. That will bring you right over to the throne of the tides. My pet is no longer with me. Come on, baby. There we go. And let's hop right on in. This is another one of the dungeons that I don't overly care for. Um, mostly just the starty ones. And the Vortex Pinnacle. I don't really care for. Um, but I'll, the other ones I actually do like. The uh, kind of the 85 level and heroic ones I think are really cool. Uh, and all the raids are really, really cool. I just don't overly care for the first three to four dungeons, in my opinion. That. But, that's okay. It's alright. Someone out there likes them. I can feel it in my bones. Anyways, let's head out, take on this little sentinel here. We cannot go to the size of there, you will get gripped and thrown. Trust me, I've seen it happen like a million times. Instead, what do you gotta do? Let's come to this section. It's the final boss for there, by the way. Come to this section and wait for fucking ever. This is the part that sucks, but you only have to do it once. As you can see, there's something wiggling around up there. It's like this big jellyfish, and it's going to eventually come down. And let us uh, have passage on it. <laughs> See, it's coming. Eventually. <laughs> and it's okay if it squishes you. It'll put you on top of it. Alright, there we go. Now we're on it. Now we gotta ride it up. And wait some more. And wait some more. And wait some more. <laughs> this is why this one of the many reasons why this dungeon is uh, boring as fuck. Because you have to wait for this thing for a century and a day. But once you finally get up, it, the dungeon starts moving a lot faster. The reason I don't like this place is only because it's just annoying. It's nerve wracking. Everything in here. Except for the first couple mobs seems to do a million damage. I don't know why they, like, the first dungeon you're going to have, everything hits uh, super fucking hard. Why that became a thing, I don't know. I am not a gnat. I am a beautiful human being. Yeah, why it's that way, I do not know. I cannot tell you, but it's just so frustrating that it is. I know, kitty. I'm gonna tell you Meow. My cat's not happy. He wants to go outside. Rise, I kind of started the recording. It's like, let me finish this. I'll put you outside. Uh, so we just need to take out Don't this, and we'll get to the out. first boss. She's waiting right there for us in her little hall. Who are you? Uh, so she's going to become immune to damage a couple of times, or at least once or twice probably while you're fighting her, and we'll summon mobs. Unless I can kill her. Nope, she's gonna do it regardless. So as you see, we can't do damage to her. And you just want to kill these, uh... That's cool. You don't need a target. Uh, and you just need to kill the things that spawn until she can become vulnerable again. If you can kill her fast enough, she'll only do it once. If not, probably do it twice. So, you know. For that. And cutscene will happen as soon as you touch this defense system, which is going to blast off the boss so that you can get to the other areas in the dungeon. <laughs> Usually, most people skip this, but yeah, we'll watch it. Let's see, is make him withdraw. So there's three actual bosses and one optional boss in here, and I've 
agree with skipping the optional boss because... I mean, he does a million damage for some fucking reason. I don't understand why everything does so much damage. In Cataclysm. It's only in Cataclysm. No un other dungeon sections have this problem. But as soon as this stops, this will fall. This guy a lot of people have problems with. For one reason, and I'll try to show that reason. And I guess I'll leave my pet gone. He doesn't need to be. And I'll show you what it is. <clears throat> it's the same as the, uh, the next dungeon that's going to show up. That right there. Don't get hit by that. If you don't get hit by that... This boss is a breeze. Guys, when you see someone wind in World of Warcraft in general, not just this dungeon, in World of Warcraft, you see someone wind up casting like a 10 second spell and his hand or any part of his body or weapon is in the air. Run! <laughs> Sorry if that was a little loud. I apologize. But I mean, fucking run. That means he's gonna slam you. And if it's ever a spell that takes that long to cast, it's probably a one shot. Move. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. I mean, the only reason I'm so passionate about this is because I can't tell you the number of wipes that happen because people don't move. It is an insane amount of wipes because people just don't just stand there and take it and then as a healer there's nothing you can do about that I mean if they die in one shot you can't heal that you can't and so you know it's like why is the healer letting us die why you get a hit by the one shots there's not a fucking thing I can do so it's just very frustrating this part also people usually skip to do and for not doing this optional boss because for some reason these little javelin throwers uh, shred your health. These guys shred your health. It's lagging. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just everything about that. This direction is unpleasant. This guy also will do a lot of damage. This thing on his head is eventually going to take over one of your comrades. Uh, I don't want it to do that though, because it's just me and I don't want to reset. You must carry on without me. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna s absorb on one of your allies' head, then they're gonna start attacking you. There's crap, trap, trinket from that. Uh, and pretty much you gotta. It's gonna give them extra health, and you need to kill. Uh, pretty much try to kill them. Because once they get to a certain amount of low of health, it's gonna knock them. It knock it off of them, and you gotta try to kill it before it can reset. Uh, so yeah, usually people skip that boss, it is an optional boss, and usually people don't do it because it's not worth it. For this next boss, it's a section where you need to... Okay, first off, getting there is a bit of a pain, because these guys hurt a lot. Uh, be careful when you kill the big ones, because they would drop some nasty liquid stuff, that right there. Let's see if I can I get it. Uh, I can't get it on me. Uh, or maybe it doesn't get on you. But either way... Uh, it does a lot of damage and people stand in it. Also, they keep coming back. Do you see these things? They keep coming back. You have to move forward. You have to. You know, sometimes tanks will just stay, or stay around and just keep taking this shit. You have to move forward to make them stop. You have to. So this guy's a good guy. You need to protect him. Good thing healers, note this, you can heal him. If he takes any damage at all, you can heal him. So once it starts, people are going to pop out and you need to defend him. But you can heal him. I, however, can't. But I'm going to take out this guy so that I can. My nice little pet so that I can start healing people. So they're going to pop over, and the big guys are going to pop over on this side, like this guy right here is going to pop over on this side. Little guys are going to pop over from this side. Or both. Oh, that's new. Yeah, they come out this side. Uh, pretty much just keep trying to defend them. As long as you can. And eventually, a bunch of people are going to just spawn. I'm out of range. Patience, guests. The waters are nearly cleansed. Yeah, look at that. You can heal them just in this spot. Well, you die, bitch. Uh, 
yeah, they're all gonna be draining them. You need to kill them. Then it'll like supersize you, and you can take on the final boss once he approaches. Trying to see the approach of the funnel bush. <laughs> and I guess uh, it's okay if you take some damage. He's not going to take too much damage. The beast has returned. There he is. It must not pollute my water. As you can see, he has like 5 million health, which is a lot. But these guys are going to start. Yeah, these guys are going to start blocking them down. You got to unlock them. Yep, and then he's going to power you up. You do a fuck ton of damage. And you get a fuck ton of health. I have 2 million health right now, as you can see. And then he just rolls on in, takes them for a ride. I guess, I don't fucking know. Anyways, that was, uh, yeah, it takes a little bit for you to officially be out of combat. There you go. That was the Throne of the Tides. Let's look at what we got here. Finger, necklace, and crafting thing. So I will see you guys in the next dungeon.